Hey guys, welcome to my first ever water marbling tutorial. Um, these are the nails we are going to be doing today. There's my thumbs. There's my pointer fingers. There's my ring uh, middle fingers. Um, here's my ring fingers. And here are my pinkies. So the look that we are going to be doing today, I call it Taylor. Uh, the reason I call it Taylor, that's my best friend's name, and she just moved. And uh, one of the colors that we're going to be using today is a color that she didn't think I had. Like, she just did not believe me that I had this color for some reason, so it kind of made me think of her anyways. Alright, um, I guess let's get started, and uh, please feel free to comment and let me know what I could do differently, if there's a different uh, way that you maybe learn better, um, just just let me know what you think at the end of this because this is my very first tutorial video. All right, first things first. What you're going to need, go ahead and go get yourself uh, a couple of paper towels, napkins, whatever you want to use. Uh, the next thing that you're going to need is a bowl of uh, room temperature filtered water. Now, I'll be honest with you, um, mine is not filtered. I just I ran out of bottled water and you can make it work with uh, tap water it just kind of depends on how hard your actual water is in in your area and the bowl that you want to use as you can see it's it's not really big some people use shot glasses I find that that makes it messier and clumpier um, well kind of mushed up I guess so um, yeah just just a small bowl uh, it could be ceramic it could be plastic really whatever you want it to be uh, next, we're also going to make sure we have a few uh, toothpicks. And uh, I'll tell you why you need everything as we approach that step. Uh, next, you're also going to need a couple of uh, uh, needles. Now, this is really kind of optional, to be honest with you. You can use the toothpicks for the same thing I'm going to use the uh, needles for. I just find that it makes it a little bit neater if you use needles. Um, and then the next thing you're going to want here, you can do it on your real nails. I do it on fake nails because it's just, um, well, it's it's less messy, basically. Uh, you don't have to worry about the, the cleanup process afterwards. If y'all want me to do a tutorial on my regular nails, leave so in the comments. Otherwise, I'm just, I'm not going to mess with it. Uh, you're going to need tape. Now you're only going to need tape if you're doing it on your real nails because on your real nails basically what you do is you just tape around it to kind of help with the cleanup. It still doesn't make it look exactly perfect which is why I don't mess with it. I also use the tape so I can tape my fake nail um, to my toothpick here. However you want to tape it's fine. I would tape it completely before you even bother painting it though because if you do it well, if you if you try and do it while it's still wet, obviously you're going to make a mess. All right, now on to the colors that we're going to be using today. First of all, look how pretty that is. This is the color that my friend didn't believe that I had. <laughs> it is by Wet n Wild, and it's fast dry, and it's called Gray's Anatomy. And I don't know if you can really see it in the video. That's another thing. Let me know about is if the um, the lighting's off or or whatever. Just kind of. Let me know in the comments. Anyways, Grey's Anatomy, um, wherever it says that at, by Wet n Wild. Then, this this color is awesome right here. Uh, we're going to be using Blue It, and this is Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. These work really well for marbling, in my personal opinion. Um, then the second color we're going to be using is Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. Surprise, surprise. It's called Blurt. Um, then we're going to be using, as our third color, we're going to be doing a China Glaze Coconut Kiss. This is a real pretty color. Um, and as far as my experiences go, I, I know a lot of people out there that do tutorials, they don't really tell you what brands work and what brands don't. Um, they say it doesn't really matter, but it really kind of does actually. So that's why I use China Glaze and Extreme Wear. Uh, you can use any color you want. I actually found a trick uh, to help the water, to help the nail polish spread, no matter what kind of nail polish you use. Um, next one, I am using Ultra Pro, 
the Nina Ultra Pro Salon Formula. It's just a white nail polish. Doesn't really matter. Especially with the white. White usually spreads pretty good no matter the brand. And then whatever top coat you want. I happen to be using an Ulta top coat. It's nice and thick and gives a real glossy look as you can see. Alright. So first step. Now that we've got all of our ingredients out, our materials, uh, paint your nail, the, the base coat of the Grey's Anatomy. Um, you could, Whenever you're doing marbling, I highly recommend using a light color. Usually I use white or this glittery clear that I have, which you'll see me use on plenty of other tutorials, just not this one. Um, but yeah, paint that, and for goodness sake, let it dry before you move on to the next step. Otherwise, you're going to make a huge mess. I already have this one pre-dried, though, so... Go ahead and shake all of your nail polishes up and then open them up. You want to have this pre-ready to go because we are going to have to move kind of fast. You don't have to move like at the speed of light or anything, but you want to move quickly so uh, the nail polish does not dry when we drop it in the water. That's what we're going for here. So I also shake up all of my nail polishes before I untwist them just gives them that extra shake that they need alright here we go this is the process that we call making your bullseye and I'm gonna actually just kinda move these around so they're a little bit more um, accessible to me so I don't bump into stuff and blah 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 And okay the order that we're gonna go in is blue it flirt coconut kiss alright Go ahead and watch as I do my bullseye. I'm going to explain it as I do it. I'm going into the center of the water, and I'm not letting the polish uh, drip too far from the water. Otherwise, it'll just like really, really clash with the water, and it just won't be good. So let's go ahead and watch this bullseye. I also want to mention that whenever you select your bowl, Make sure you don't expect to use that bowl for anything else because, as you can see, this one is, <laughs> I don't want to say ruined, but, uh, yeah, it definitely, okay, this is a trick that they don't show, oh, no, this is embarrassing. I'm not getting to spread at all. Well, uh, okay, this is the perfect time to show you how to clean up that crap. Take one of your toothpicks here and just kind of clean up the water a little bit. I guess my water wasn't completely clean when I started this. Sorry about that. That's embarrassing. This is my first video too. And I'm not that good at editing, so uh alright, okay. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a little bit better product here. I would do just a um, few layers. I like it if you, I'm a creature of habit. I really like the big freaking bull's eyes. So I like for mine to spread a lot. Especially since the swirl look that we're going for really requires you to have a full bull's eye because you need the nail polish sticking to the side of the bowls at the end so you don't move around your pattern too much. You'll see what I'm talking about when we get there. So. <clears throat> All right. After I do this ring, I'm going to show you guys a little trick. Cause, I mean, it's spreading good, but it's not bull's eyes, bull, bull eyesing, whatever I'm trying to say, the uh, the entire bowl. So here's a little trick. Take your toothpick or whatever you want to take. And, and kind of just go around the sides and what it'll do is it'll draw the edges to the sides of the bowl a little bit. Normally it works better than this but that's, oh there we go. That's kind of the gist of it. See how it's widening everything out a little bit more? There we go. Now I've seen so many tutorial videos and only one other girl uh, actually showed me this trick and I was like oh my gosh if everybody was doing this it would make life so much easier because that's a way that you can get other brands to spread 
um, and water is by doing that. See how much prettier everything? Oh, no, there we go. Is it still recording? Okay. And just keep on going until you're just satisfied with what you have. And I'm wanting to do a really good one for you guys, so that's why I'm still going. Looks like I'm going to have to stop soon, though, because... Oh, no, there it goes. It just was being a little bit slow. I think that's going to do for me. I'm going to try and spread this out a little bit more. There we go. Now, this is why I use the needle versus the uh, toothpick. It's a little bit, makes your design a little bit finer. You're going to want to start from the middle, which I have mine ending on a white. And you just take it in there and really just, you swirl it. And then you take the sides, and I do it after each time. I wipe off my toothpick. And you just, as long as you go from that white, oh, you can't really go wrong. And as soon as I say that, I have a boo-boo. Whatever. We got two of them on there. You get the gist of it. You just kind of draw around in it. I, si I find that it works so much better if you um, go from the middle. <clears throat> But anyways, then what you're going to do is you're going to find a spot that you like. Which one do we like, guys? Like that one or that one? I think I like this one. It has a little bit more color to it. Anyways, you make sure that nail is secured. That's what I'm doing right now. Get your toothpick ready. Get an another toothpick ready. And then you just kind of slowly go in the water here, going down in like this. Um, straightforward. Kind of wiggle it around a little bit. And you're going to use this toothpick to clean off the surface of the water. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Be careful because you don't want to mess up your design because you might get some on the back of your nail. Uh, who cares? It's the back of the nail. But you just don't want to mess it up. So kind of shake it around. Make sure most of your crap, uh, sorry, make sure most of your nail polish is off the surface or it's going to get on your design. Just kind of pull it up. And look at that. Got ourselves a pretty little design. You don't have to make all of them match, but you can if you want to. So voila. You look, minimal mess and really cute nails and it's also really fun. It's just water mar marbling is so much fun. I um, want to thank you guys for tuning in to my video. Let me know if there's anything else that I could do to, I don't know, improve my videos. I'm sure there's plenty. This is my first video. And I'm going to put a list at the end. Um, I'm going to put a list at the end of all the brands that I used, all the tools, just all that good stuff. So feel free to write that stuff down if you want to. All right. Thanks, guys.